So now that we have all our form fields on here, we need to take a look at some of the properties that go along with them because I want to show you a few things if I click on preview. Right now, if I type something in here, it might be a big font and continue to get smaller and smaller the more I type. I probably don't want that. I want to probably set the font and the type size and make sure that it stops when it gets to the end instead of getting um, a dinky font. Then I have this um, paragraph text that I went over the top of something, so I probably need to make the background white to white out whatever's in the back. And when a person types here and wants to hit, hit the enter key and go to the next line, nothing happens <laughs> because this is not set as multi-line text. So how are we going to fix um, these? Uh, these items? First off, I'm going to clear out what I put in the preview and then I'm going to go back to edit and I'm going to either double click or right click and go to properties and in here I'm going to take a look at every one of these so first off do you want your form field visible do you want the blue um, showing yes I want people to be able to see where the form fields are um, and appearance this is where I can change instead of auto on the font, I can say 10 point font and I can choose a font. I want to make sure that I don't choose funky monkey chunky font because other people's computers might not have that. Arial is pretty universal on both Mac and PC so I'm going to choose that. Text color black. Um, position I don't pay too much attention to but underneath options I will allow them to check the spelling. I don't want to scroll long text. That means that if they type multi-lines here, I'd have a scroll bar. And then if I printed out this form, I wouldn't see anything below the scroll. This is not a multi-line item, but I do want to allow rich text formatting. That means they can bold and italicize things. I could also limit this to a specific number of characters so people don't type on forever and are succinct in their answers. There are several other things up here that you can do. You can add actions, you can format percentages, numbers, um, time, that type of thing. You could even set a calculation to happen if they typed in a certain number or, or and validate their answers. So um, again, the important things I think here underneath general it's visible. You can also make this required so that they would not be able to save the form until they and answered that particular question. So most of them I do require if it's a form. What do I want my font and size? And then if I want a border color around this or a fill. And then the options for the check spelling and do you need um, multi-line or allow rich text. So let's go down to this one because this one, again, I double click or right click to properties. This one in particular, I want to make sure that I've got a specific font size and again I would choose Arial because it's very universal font so and in this case I do want to fill this I don't want a box around it but I do want it white to white out that and then under options I do want this to be multi-line and I'm still going to allow the rich text formatting and I might want to limit this to 500 characters so they don't uh, my applicant doesn't go on and on then I close that and I can test this again on a preview and just make sure that they can hit the enter key and type uh, multi-line and that they can italicize and uh, bold and that kind of thing so that is um, how you edit your, your items. Then when you are ready to save, you'll want to come up here to File, Save as Other, and save it as a Reader Extended Enable More Tools, including Form Fill In and Save. When you do this, then people who don't have Acrobat, the ones who just have Adobe Reader, the free version, will be able to fill out and save your form. Otherwise, they'll fill it out and they won't be able to save unless you save this as a Reader Extended form. And so I always give my forms that are Reader Extended an R after them because the Reader Extended can't be edited very well. So I always save two versions of it, the 
regular version and the reader extended and then I click Save. So that should help you get started with editing your form fields and then making sure that you save this for Adobe Reader.